Hi kids, today we are going to learn how to draw and colour in a rocket. Start by doing a kind of long lemon shape with a slice cut off the bottom. Then we'll do a line across the top to section that off and two circles for the eyes. Colouring in the pupils, leaving a little bit of shine, a sideways smile, some eyebrows, the tummy, which is also our window, a little bit of decoration, how about a lightning bolt? We're doing the bottom part now, adding our booster and the flame of course. And then we'll thicken up the border, ready to colour. Let's go for red for the top section. Red for rocket. Starts with the same letter. R. R. We're leaving a little section here which we won't colour in because it's going to look like it's a shiny red rocket. Brilliant. Now let's do the next section. Yellow. We've got a very fine tipped pen here. You can of course paint if you want or use pencils. We are just being very careful so that we don't colour over our black lines and into the bits that we don't want to be that colour, like the eyes and the mouth. So take your time with this, no need to rush. And you can always pause the video if you need to. Excellent, good job. Now imagine if you had a space rocket, where would you go? Would you go to the moon? Maybe collect some cheese? Would you go to another planet? Or would you explore deepest, darkest space? Or where would you go in your space rocket? Let us know in the comments below. Brilliant. Let's go for green. And done. Now blue. That looks great. Let's do these bits blue too. Isn't it amazing that human beings have created this wonderful rocket machine that can take us into outer space? Could you ever imagine leaving the Earth and seeing the Earth down below you? Would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Orange for our flame. Almost there! Yes! Let's go for a yellow in the middle. And some pink for our window. There you have it! Hey friends! Today we're going to learn how to draw some vehicles. What are your favourite modes of transport? We're going to show you how to draw a helicopter. You see how easy it is? Let's do the propeller. Next we're going to show you how to draw a scooter. Do any of you have a scooter? Well, this one's an electric scooter. Imagine buzzing around town on that for your shopping. <laughs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? Now we're going to draw a truck. Do your parents ever order groceries online? This is what they arrive in. And now a ship. So easy, just put some shapes together and Bob's your uncle. Let's start shading round the border of each of these vehicles now. A nice strong thick black outline will make those colours stand out fantastically well. Lovely, starting with the helicopter we're doing blue. We're using felt tip pens but you could use paint if you like. Even put some glitter on it. 
even pencil if you prefer. What's your favourite thing to use? I like felt tip pens too. This turquoise is a lovely colour for a helicopter. It looks like a lovely blue sky. Hey, maybe it will be camouflaged when it's flying. Yellow for the nice shiny windows. Yellow like the sunshine. Orange propellers! And some red! Yeah! And finally, some more blue! Wow, this is looking so cool! And there you have it! Right, let's colour in our scooter! Pretty in pink, I think. What colour is your scooter? Perhaps it has some patterns or design on it, like spaceships or dinosaurs or even unicorns. So doing the main body in this lovely pink colour. Our semicircles. Then a yellow light on the front and one on the back. Colouring in our seat red. Finally, some blue wheels. Gorgeous. Right, let's do our truck. It's green. Maybe it's an Asta truck from the supermarket. What do you think it's carrying inside it? Maybe it's food, or maybe it's horses. Furniture. Maybe someone's moving house. What do you think's inside it? Let's have some lovely purple wheels. I do love a bit of purple, don't you? Yellow window. Excellent. Last but not least, we'll do our ship. Ahoy, Captain! We'll travel the seven seas. Lovely in yellow. That will really stand out when it's floating on the deep blue sea. I always think it's amazing how a ship can float on water. Such a big, big, big heavy thing. Can you imagine how clever it is to design something like that? Shading from yellow to orange to red. Gorgeous use of colours. And there you have it. Well done, guys. You've done really well. Hey, guys, guess what? Today we're going to draw and paint an umbrella. It's so easy to draw. Look, just a semicircle with a bit of a wavy box and a stick with a hook at the bottom a little triangle on top and some curvy lines let's do some clouds now and one at the top because this umbrella is for the rain we'll start by darkening up the border with a thick black pen Clouds too. Ooh, those angry rain clouds. Now let's use some lovely watercolours. Yellow. Green. And purple. Painting the first segment of our umbrella yellow. This is going to be a gorgeously bright one. Do you know how far back umbrellas go? They are ancient, and I mean ancient. The earliest known parasols in ancient Egyptian art date back to the 5th dynasty. That's around 2450 BC. 
They've also been dated back to 2310 BC in the ancient Near East and in ancient India and China. In ancient Greece, they've been found painted on pottery and we've seen them in old paintings and sculptures. So they're pretty old. So with our delicate small tipped paintbrush, we're just painting on one colour at a time, one stroke at a time, changing up the colours now to bright fluorescent colours. Let's do orange next to the purple. And if you really want to change it up, you could add some patterns, perhaps some polka dots or little love hearts. But for now, lovely array of colours we're using from yellow to a lovely lime green to purple to orange to finally bright pink fuchsia. Absolutely gorgeous. We're almost done with our umbrella. Keep it up, you're doing really well. There, now let's paint the handle. Fluorescent yellow. Fantastic. Abracadabra, the colours were here. Now we'll make them disappear. It's time to paint our clouds. Blue, because they've got rain in them. Rain, rain, go away. Don't come back another day. Hey, well I don't mind because I've got an umbrella. Yeah, it's the best umbrella in the world. It's a rainbow umbrella. Using a small brush, painting carefully inside the borders of our wavy cloud shape. Around the umbrella handle. Almost there! You're doing well! And... Done! Yay! Fantastic! Hey kids, guess what we're drawing today? Let's have a look then, shall we? It's rectangular. Hmm, what could it be? Some kind of a handle, perhaps? Ah, a circle in the centre. Oh, oh, I know, it's a camera! That's right, let's make it a polka dot camera. Why not? You see, this camera is very easy to draw. Oh, you can pause the video at each step to give yourself more time. Decorate it however you wish. Thicken up the border with a nice thick black pen. That's it, ready to paint. Let's do orange for the top part. You can, of course, choose any colours you like and use any patterns you like. What patterns can you spot on our camera? And that's right, there are some diagonal stripes in the top left-hand corner. That's the flash. What else can you spot? Yes, the polka dots. Well done. We're going for a pink around our polka dots. Using a thin tipped paintbrush because we don't want to be going over those black lines. Thin tip makes it much easier to paint more precisely, more carefully, more accurately. There you go. Excellent. Do you have a camera? Do you like to take photos? <laughs> Me too. What things do you like to take photos of? I love to take pictures of the sunset. This section is almost done, you're doing really well. And... Yes, there we go. Let's go for green for the outside of our circle. This part is of course where the camera lens is. There we go. Hmm, what colour shall we do next? How about purple?
purple. A lovely violety purple. Very nice too. Going around our love heart. Which can be red, of course. Oh, well, it doesn't have to be red. But I do love how that bright red colour stands out. We're leaving a little white border there. Going for yellow polka dots. Lovely. This is starting to look like a very funky camera. Hmm, now for the top part. We'll go for some blue. Nice. And some purple. Now some more red. And last but not least, yellow. Brilliant! Hey kids, today we're going to show you how to draw a plane. As usual, we're going to draw the outline first. Put in the pilot's window and start colouring in. We're going to colour it in bright pink first. Ooh, I love a bit of pink. Around the window, stay in between the lines. You know, when you're colouring something in, it's always best to start with the borders first because that's the tricky part. Then you can just fill in the rest, which is much easier. There, the hard bit's done now. We've just got to colour in the rest. A little bit at a time. Left, right, left, right, left, right. That's it, you're doing it. Hey, do you like planes? Have you ever flown anywhere? Me too, I've flown all over the world. It's amazing, isn't it? Just like a bird, defying gravity. What's your favourite plane? Do you like those big ones, Boeing 747s? Or do you like the little ones like our lovely pink plane here? Me too. Keep going, you're almost there. This is fun, isn't it? I love colouring in. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, we're done. Time to decorate. A few details here and there, like the wings. Two main ones on the side and two on the tail. Bright yellow wing. That stands out fantastically against the pink, doesn't it? Beautiful. Don't you think it's great? Just like bird feathers. Lovely. All of them the same colour. Right, time for a bit of detail. Let's put some windows on, shall we? We must let passengers see the view. I think we're going to draw three square windows using our bright yellow colouring pen. There. And a nice pale cornflower blue for our front window. The beautiful colour of glass. And almost there. Side to side. And done! Brilliant! Let's put a bit of glass on our other windows. And how about a smiley face? Join the eyebrows and some circle eyes. Let's draw our window frame borders. That black really makes the bright colours stand out, doesn't it? And there you have it. Back to the face. A nice bit of reflection in the eyes there with a white pen. Reflection in the windows too. And what's next? I think a mouth using a brown pen. It's a very happy plane with pink rosy cheeks. And don't forget the tongue. Plane-tastic. kids, let's draw. Today we're going to draw and paint a computer and keyboard. That's right, so now we're doing a rectangle shape for the monitor and another one for the keyboard, each with a border. Drawing the keys on now. Crisscross those lines. Join it all up. A few buttons and a mouse, of course. Don't forget the screensaver. Let's do a rainbow. Fantastic! There, ready to paint! Pink first of all, for our computer frame. 
This part of the computer is called the monitor and this is where we see all the pictures and read all the words. Do you have a computer at home? How about a phone? Mobile phones are just like mini computers. Green now for the one button and blue for the next. Yellow for the third. Let's go for a darker blue for the stem of the computer and yellow for the border of the keyboard. Gorgeous. Red now for the first lot of keys. Green next. We love a rainbow keyboard and why not? Purple. You can choose your favourite colours. Blue. Did you know that computers were first invented in 1822? That's a long time ago by a man named Charles Babbage. They weren't built till 1991 though. Well, we've come a long way since then. Some red in the middle of our mouse and green to finish it off. Time to do our rainbow. Starting with red. Then orange. Red and yellow and pink and green. Purple and orange and blue I can sing a rainbow Sing a rainbow Sing a rainbow too Doesn't it just look beautiful? I love this computer! Nearly done! Purple for the last part And yes! You did it! Hey kids, today we're going to show you how to draw and paint a sparkly dump truck. Who would have thought? We start by drawing some circles. Small, medium, big. Join it to another one. Big, medium and small. Now we're going to draw the outline. The front part with a double border and the light on the front and our window frame. And then we're going to draw the rest of our frame. Really, we're just drawing lots of different shapes. Triangles, quadrilaterals, rectangles, squares, circles. Double bordering it too, just like so. And some bars vertically across the middle. See how many shapes you can spot. The rainbow at the top. Excellent time to paint. Starting with green for the wheels. Yeah, we love some bright wheel action there. Both wheels the same colour. Brilliant. Now red for the inner bit. And some yellow for the middle. Ooh, sparkly. Let's use brown now for the front part of our dumper truck. Carefully painting in between the lines. And there. Bottom part. And some more yellow for our gorgeous frame. And the light. There you go. And our bars. And the bottom part of our rainbow. Next we're going to go purple. We'll paint in between some of our yellow bars. These are rectangle shapes. And a triangle. And some pink. We like to alternate pink and purple with that gorgeous sparkly yellow. It looks so bright. Yes the front. Then we'll use turquoise for our window. And silver. We're going to colour in the inside of our rainbow shape and the front frame. And red to border our window. And the outer part of our rainbow. Finally, we're going to go for a bit of bronze colour. An absolutely gorgeous, sparkly, colourful dump truck. Whoever knew it could look so beautiful. Hi and welcome to a step-by-step -step guide of how to draw and paint a rickshaw. Fantastic start by bordering the wheels and finishing off the rest of the wheel and then doing the back part of your rickshaw, the frame and the body little bit of detail here and there, a couple of lights on the back, curve over the roof, slant the front, making a window, and the light, the front frame, the front wheel, 
and the doorway. Inside detail a little bit, so we've got our seats and our pole going down the middle. Open door, so you can see right in. And then just framing our door. Brilliant. Back seat, looking nice and cosy there. Final frame, decorating a pattern on our roof. And there you have it, ready to paint. Let's start with yellow. Painting the main part of the rickshaw's body. What a gorgeous bright colour. Painting very carefully around all the detail because we don't want to paint those by accident. Front part two. And the light. Now for some green. Look at that vibrant green. What a fantastically bright colour. See how it offsets the yellow? A little bit of the roof green too. A sparkly greyish black for the wheels. There. Now for some red to frame our window. And the wheel frames. That's the front one and the back one. And some gorgeous bright pink. Painting a bit of the roof. The inside of the wheels and the floor for the inside of our auto rickshaw. There, fantabulous. Now for some turquoise for our window. Multicoloured stripy roof. Gorgeous peach for some inner frame. Purple next. You can experiment with any colours you like. You can even do any pattern you like. Painting in our detail and then going for the gold. Finalising with our final roof stripe. And some little details here and there. Now brown. We're going to use brown to paint in our inside bits of the chair and our handbrake at the front. And then silver to do the middle pole and the leg of the chair and the little detail on handbrake. And then finally royal blue to complete our seating. And there you have it. An absolutely Gorgeous sparkly rickshaw. And here it comes. Beep beep. Want a ride? Come on then. Hop in to our beautiful rainbow rickshaw. Woohoo! Hey kids, have you ever wanted to learn the keyboard? Well, now you can learn how to draw and paint a sparkly keyboard. Yay! Start by drawing a massive rectangle. That's the outline for the main keyboard body. Next we're going to do a smaller rectangle inside that to frame our keys. Some circles for our buttons, three small ones, one big one. Separating out our keys inside the smaller rectangle. And then separating those out further to add our raised keys in the middle of each of those rectangles. There you go. One more. Brilliant. Now let's draw our speaker. Slightly oval. And there, it's ready to paint. Hmm, what colour shall we start with? How about yellow? Let's paint the main body of our keyboard sparkly yellow. Carefully painting around those buttons and the speaker. Brilliant, providing a nice, bright, sunny frame for our keys. Now let's do red. The last key can be red. Yeah, how about the inner part of our speaker? And the first key too. Now green. Yay, let's do green for the second key. And the first bit of our speaker. And the second to last key. How about purple? Yeah, let's do purple next. One of the buttons can be purple too. Can you see how we're painting keys each side of the keyboard as a mirror image? Turquoise now on one of the buttons and the next two keys. That way it's much easier. Finishing off our speaker. Pink next. I love a bit of bright pink next to turquoise. It looks so nice. Our big button can be pink too, because I love it so much. Now for royal blue, final button. One key. And the remaining key can be peachy. Brilliant. Now for some silver to paint our raised keys. 
On a normal keyboard, these are usually black, but we want ours to be a rainbow magical keyboard. Look at that silver. It really makes the bright colour stand out. Woohoo! You did it! And there you have it. A gorgeous, bright, sparkly keyboard. Let's play! Hi kids! Today we're going to show you how to draw and paint a video game controller. Ready? Start by drawing the outline. We're going to draw the border. And then some buttons. And smaller buttons. We can draw a cross shape. Some circles. And some small circles. Medium circles. Rectangles. It's so easy. You just need to draw a few different shapes, some lines. And there you have it, ready to paint. We'll start with lovely yellow. Sparkly yellow for the main part of our video game controller. What's your favourite colour? <laughs> Me too. I like all the colours. Painting around the shapes very carefully with a small brush. Careful not to go over the lines. Almost there. And done. Right, now for pink. Let's paint the ends. Lovely. I love this sparkly pink. It's so vibrant. Let's do the top buttons too. And the other side. And matching up with the left bottom side too. Voila. Turquoise next. We're going to paint our middle part. I love how these colours stand out next to each other. And our buttons at the bottom, the inside part. Now let's go for red. Sparkly red for our big buttons. Carefully painting around our cross. And then purple. Let's do the second big button purple. Painting around our small circle buttons so that we don't go over the lines. And then brown. Sparkly brown to go around our turquoise circle buttons. Green for our stripes. Absolutely fantastic. Let's do the other side. Yeah, and then red again. Why not? Let's paint our final stripes red. That really does look super cool, doesn't it? And turquoise again. Oh, we love these colours. That's our cross. And our small buttons on the other side, but only two. Now we're going to do the middle one, pink. And then green for our remaining small circular buttons. And finally, a royal blue for our last remaining button. And there you have it, a gorgeous rainbow video game controller. Game on! Subscribe and watch more!